Holy shit. Wow, that's bad. Uh, I don't know why you're holding on to this. Don't know why you're holding on to that. That is... Oh, wow. Okay, so we're in another account review and I have been put into MOC. That's... That's a new one. Uh, I haven't started off a video like that. Okay, I'm actually curious. Where are you up to? You've gotten 12 stars, so I guess you were just messing around. Uh, 12 stars? You've gotten 36 stars, so I guess you were just messing around with... Uh, uh, different teams. Saving for Yai Sakura. Okay. I did think that rapper was going to be her, but they seem too different. All right. That's kind of put me out of uh, out of my usual flow for these, but we've got a light spender and they need help with just some builds and what they can improve for and you know, like how. So let's have a look. Uh, double check the light spending. All right, you don't even have a max Arlen. Damn, you should save up for that. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, you've bought a couple of packs here, uh, none of the big ones, fair enough. Um, maybe just to try and get that 5 star that you've wanted. Let's see who you do have though. I think we should check out team lineups first. You've already got Lingsha leveled up, nice, ready to go. You've got a boot hole team, Lingsha's already made her way in there. That's cool, a super break variant, alright. We've got an Acheron team here, pretty nice, definitely a free to play team, but it works just as well. Um, we've got a Kafka Dot team with Sampo, nice. You've got your, you know, a Pure Fiction team, maybe. We've got Fei Zhao too, and a Venturine. Super Break Fei Zhao? I mean, the ult does do a decent amount of toughness bar damage, so I'm actually tempted to try that out. Then you've got the regular Fei Zhao team. And you got a Jingliao team. Okay, interesting to pick a shielder here. Not a bad option at all, because Aventurine is just that good. But definitely interesting. So let's check out your Ling Sha. No light cone. Okay, you are a light spender, so I'm guessing... I mean, you don't need to go for it anyway. I think Ling Sha needs about 200 break effect. Looking great. I know she scales off of attack as well. Uh, if I remember right... Yeah, 70% uh, of her attack. That's cool. So maybe want to up that attack stuff, um, stats, but you know, I'm sure this is doing the trick. You got on four piece watchmaker. This is bad. So her ult is an attack. It's not a buff, so you can't use it on an ally. So switch that to like two piece, two piece of whatever else. You might want to go for something like a uh, prisoner or um, valorous musketeer. Uh, even the follow-up stuff. Go for something else that like benefits her. It, it's up to you. Maybe you want to go two piece, two piece with an extra break set. Forge set is nice. Uh, yeah. I don't know about fire damage boost being worth it. She is very new and unfortunately I haven't uh, been able to read the archives. You know, the scriptures about her kit and all that. I mean, she was in the event anyway, so I could add a proper look, but I was too lazy to do that. So I'll figure it out eventually. But yeah, I mean, this is cool. I already got a link shot, that's nice. Let's check out your Homi Chobas. See, there we go, now we're talking. Uh, that is very interesting that you run both of these without the four piece watchmaker. Also, do correct me if I'm wrong about link shot, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. But yeah, two piece, two piece is how I run my trailblazer. It's what I prefer. What's your break effect looking like? 200? Uh, it's not bad. Okay. Bit slow as well, no speed boots I'm guessing. Spe okay, you do have speed boots, just no speed substats anywhere. 99 defense, yo, this is a piece man, you really don't have... I'm, I'm doing that for you, because uh, this pushes you to 146 with one mate if you have the traces. And then you get the actual buff so you get more break effect. Okay cool, um, let's look at Eidolons. Sorry, got caught off guard again. E2, work on that. We want E4 at least. Trust me, it's worth it. Uh, E0, that's totally fine. E0, do you have the light cone? You're using the new one! I didn't even know this was coming out. I just got one uh, earlier. But yeah, cool. This is the first hunt light cone that isn't Boot Hills 1 to buff break effect on hunt path. And it buffs speed, so it's pretty good. It is Boot Hills. Not free-to-play option, but, you know, the cheap option. 
you've got Robin on the uh, good whole event like cone, E0, nice. Uh, Himeko kinda built, maybe part break, no, just no crit, alright cool. Uh, E1, we got Jingliu, good Jingliu build. Uh, she is E0, S0, you've got Akron, E1, extra crit rate. I mean, it's a it's a valuable pickup, and you have an S1. Okay, big Akron fan. Uh, we've got Kafka, E0, S0 as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's if you had like S3 of this, I would definitely push you for that over solitary healing. Um, but considering it is only S1, maybe you just would rather have this. It's not too bad. Break effect isn't really that great on her but you know low on effect hit rate if you're using Kafka you want like 29 effect hit rate and then she basically lands everything uh yeah the <sighs> okay this is mediocre attack percent would be nice that is terrible that is yo that is oh wow <laughs> Yo, this Kafka on is, uh... <sighs> okay, I mean, break effect is wasted, but this isn't too bad. That's pretty damn good though, 8 speed on the rope. Okay, you, you saved it with the rope, but those boots and that body... Jeez. Fei Zhao is S1, is she E0? She is. Dance, 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 E1, okay, cool. E0 Sparkle with Bronya Light Gun, okay. That's really impressive to get 4.2k defense on this one. I know this does buff defense, but it also has the lowest base defense for a 4 star. I see how you've attained it though. Uh, that's not too great, like at all actually, that's pretty terrible. Uh, you could just give her uh, Give him this and switch with your trailblazer. You're not using preservation trailblazer, and this is like an extra bit of defense and more effect res and crit rate. So it's much better than these stats. I'm tempted to do it for you. Uh, uh, that's fine. You've got a defense main body. Ah, I see. I didn't even check the speed, so I'm hoping that I don't switch to the speed or to the boots and you don't have speed. Uh, you've got... This isn't terrible. I mean, two wasted rolls mm. here. You do have defense boots. Ah, no wonder. No wonder you hit 4k. Okay, so you've got quad defense. Yeah, alright. It's a bit less impressive now. I mean, do what works for you, but speed boots. Trust me, speed boots, really nice. Your Gallagher is not built anymore, I'm assuming. Lingsha came about and took everything. You've got Gwenaifen here. Low speed, terrible. You need speed boots on Gwenaifen. You're using her with Akron. She needs to be fast. You need fast and you need effect hit rate. She's not there for damage. She's there to apply debuffs. Yeah, I mean, not the greatest option. Um, you're better off going for like 2p speed. You know, something like that. Give her some survivability, give her some attack, you can give her full piece prisoner, that also works fine. That is a personal damage buff though. Um, she just doesn't need this as much, in my opinion. There's just no point, there's no point in running attack boots. Not much need for fire damage, like yeah you can, it's not really a big deal. But if you do want to run attack that much, then switch on attack orb and switch to speed boots, it's better. Yo, that's a pretty decent piece, uh, apart from the effect res. Yeah, that's fine. The thing I've been experimenting with is just using energy regen. It's I don't think it's really recommended, but it's okay. I also use break effect sometimes as well, just to do some extra nuke damage. Uh, you've got a very squishy pillar with good amount of effect hit rate and energy regen though. Nice. Uh, not too sure about these pieces. Yeah, I mean, two good rolls here. You don't need crit. I don't know why crit damage is highlighted for her. Like, it's some sort of good thing to have. Uh, if you can switch to TV speed, that'd be goaded. Uh, I mean, hey, that is a piece. Wow, DPS Pella. There's the energy regen. No speed rolls, that's really unfortunate. 
Sampo, uh, 135, 3k. Bit on the slower side, bit outdated as well, but hey, not too bad. Eventually you can get the four piece dot set once you get some attack bodies that are decent. I don't think you use, oh you do use links, maybe? Okay, I hope not, because four piece healing is bad. You do use march though, 58, 172, a bit low on the crit rate there. Uh, I would switch to a crit rate body to be honest I mean that does take away a lot of your crit damage though uh, yeah I mean your march is a bit awkward that piece sucks that's got two out of four okay that's not great attack boots with two crit rate okay you're you're kind of forced to use that wind damage bonus orb on your march I mean it rolled really well but like yeah, interesting. And then we've got that. That is a March build and a half. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't really understand the obsession with attack boots on this account. You've got a lot of slow characters. Almost everyone is slow. Even your Sparkle is slow. Even your Bronya is slow. Your Feijiao is decent. Your Kafka is fine. Your Acheron has... The one character you're supposed to run on attack boots you're running on speed. Holy shit, that's a really good piece. I would switch to that. I'd switch that in a heartbeat. Even with the E1. So you're getting 12 from Izumo, right? And then you're getting 18, so that's 30. So you're getting 80. I don't know, for 12 crit damage to get to like 90, uh, or whatever, however much crit rate that one added, I, I would say that's worth it. Uh, your Jing Liu is a bit too fast, but it's not really an issue. Four piece quantum Jing Liu, that's cool. Holy, that's pretty crazy. That's decent. Uh I mean not the best, but it's not too bad. That's okay. Uh I mean you don't need the extra crit rate, so that's fair enough. Holy shit! Why do you get I would love for some uh like good quantum boots man you've got so many double crit ones that rolled like shit though uh i don't know why you're holding on to this don't know why you're holding on to that or that you've got tons of better pieces oh my god okay that's pretty good three out of four there yo nice yeah pretty good jingleo your jingleo is insane Especially for like no signature and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, the rest of your build team, okay, this is fine. This is typical stuff. You get the 4k attack. You're hitting 120 speed and you're a little bit under 4k. It's not too big of a deal. You can pick up this, you can pick up these traces and then you're sorted. That should get you to around 4k and you'll be fine. Is this level 80? It is level 80. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just get some attack percent on that because wow, that's bad. Um, yeah, that sucks. That's a bit unfortunate, but it's not too big of a deal. That's terrible. Okay, your pieces suck. Like, this is trash. You could... Surely you have an attack body. I lied. I, I was wrong. You do not have an attack body. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Energy regen. Okay. Energy regen and you're hitting about that much. Yeah, with some better pieces, you're hitting 4k quite comfortably. Your boot hill. Boot hill's on the 4 piece super break thingy. Iron cavalry. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's the wrong piece. Okay. 3 out of 4. Pretty decent. 3 out of 4. Well, 4 out of 4. Crit damage isn't too bad on him. Holy. These break effect rolls are insane. Oh my god. And then we've got speed. Okay. Damn. Yo, your boot hill is crazy. 264. Oh, wow. That's that's actually incredible. That's crazy. That's a crazy good build. All his chases are done. That is insane. How's your run mate? Your run mate's over 180, so that's fine. That's all I care about, really. Uh, I would go for four piece watchmaker on run mate. Yeah, that's got to be replaceable, right? Slow run mate, love to see it. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way you can't fix this, right? Oh, you don't have any watchmaker body? No, you do. 
HP, outgoing healing. Definitely worth it. You have, uh, look, this piece is much better than whatever you're using, right? You've got extra survivability on top of extra break effect. And it's not like this piece had speed, so that's an easy swap. This one did have speed. If you have any four speed ones, I'm guessing this is where you fall short, huh? Why do you have so many double crits? Yeah, okay. When you get speed, um, because I'm guessing that pushes you under one, oh, just slightly, just slightly pushes you under. Eventually, you can switch this out. I'm guessing, I'm hoping that's what you're banking on doing. All right, cool. Uh, I mean, you're clearing endgame from what I saw. Oh, pure fiction struggling a little bit. Okay, do you have a, you have a Himiko built. Your Akron team should be getting pretty far. I don't know. The thing is, I can't check which team is falling behind. Uh, which is what's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, you've got Linksha as well. Yo, try Himiko uh, on Super Break. Just give her your boot hole pieces, right? Give her this light gun if you want to level it up. Trust me, it's pretty fun to use Super Break Himiko. And you should... You should clear. You've got Lingshar as well. You should definitely clear 30k. Oh, I can see. Okay, yeah. So it's your... All right. Trust me. Abandon Feijiao and switch to Himeko Super Break. Because Feijiao... Feijiao works if you have Herta or if you have Yunni. That's a really comfortable Pure Fiction clear. Otherwise, she kind of falls behind a bit. I, th I think with that, you'll be able to get the full clear on here. Let's go back really quickly. I want to just do a quick double check. So your Ling Sha needs some work, need to switch sets. Um, this, your Trailblazer was fine. Bit low on the break effect, but otherwise okay. I did make some switches, so she's hitting 140, uh, 145 with, you know, run mate. Level this up, so she has a bit more uh, survivability and stats. But yeah, that's fine. Your run mate is okay. Uh, switch to four piece watchmaker when you can. Boot till. Incredible boot hole. It's actually one of the best boot holes I've seen. Robin's decent. Himiko's not good. Jane Leo's really good. Your Akron's okay. I think attack boots will do you better. Yeah, your Kafka pieces were okay. Uh, apart from that. And the boots, I think it was. Yeah, the, the body and the boots suck. Your Feijiao is pretty decent. I don't think I actually looked through it properly. Um pretty good crazy good uh decent not so good at all and then this is okay eventually if you get a wind damage one and this one sucks but yeah i mean the stats aren't too bad like this is oh this is pretty decent uh i can't remember what her trace is that gives her yeah she gets extra crit damage um in her ult so it's like fine and it's like 186 or whatever so that's fine. Bronya's too slow, your Spark is too slow, your Aventurian's too slow, uh, Gwenaifen's too slow, your Pella's okay. Bit too squishy. Um, March needs more crit rate. Herta, if you ever start using her, needs more crit rate. Don't think you're using anyone else. But yeah, overall, uh, I don't know, it's a pretty decent account. There's some errors in your choices, but I think these are easily fixed. I'll give you... I think I'll give you a 6 out of 10. This is a decent account. You've got your Boot Hill and your Jingleo are definitely my favorites on this account. Very strong. Uh, and especially for no signature. That is crazy. Plus, you know, I do love a bit of 4-piece Quantum on a Jingleo. So 6 out of 10. Strong account. You know, looking good so far. Need some couple, couple of changes here and there. And yeah, if you guys do want to be a part of these, um, they are going to change. So I'm not going to do every single account review gets a video. I am a bit busy. So there'll still be shorts and TikToks or whatever. But yeah, they won't get full videos anymore. And I should be doing them on stream when I can start streaming properly again. So yeah, look forward to that. Check out the Twitch. Check out the Discord as well. Discord is how I facilitate all the process for account reviews. And it's just a cool place to hang out. Been really enjoying the community growing. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do leave a like, subscribe. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.